The Ironman Triathlon added thousands to the Lake Placid population over the weekend, but up until a few days ago, they didn't have a contract for next year's race. While the Ironman will be back, Local 22's Michael Miller tells us locals hope it can be done with as few disruptions as possible. The Ironman brings thousands of people to Lake Placid every year, but there was some uncertainty if the race would return after this year. Julian Gambacurta, a local who works on Main Street in Lake Placid, highlights some of the issues that people go through every year when the race comes to town. Every day there's at least a handful of employees at my job as well as most other places that are late to their shift if they're working you know, midday or afternoon because the town just does not have the, the parking to handle this kind of influx of people with cars. Everybody brings a car with them when they go on vacation. You can't fly in. So there's just not enough room for everybody, including the people that work here. Those are just some of the issues that could have made this the end. But I spoke with motel owner and Lake Placid Mayor Art Delvin about the impact of the Iron Man and what he thinks would happen if it didn't return. We always ex existed before the Iron Man, but there would be less business, that's for sure. We're getting top rate for five days. We wouldn't get that. We'd be lucky to get one or two. So it, it is a big, it is a big boost. Mark Galvin, village trustee and co-owner of the Bookstore Plus in Lake Placid, says while some people can be disruptive, overall, everyone loves the area and is very respectful. A handful of riders out there who are disrespectful on the roads and will ride three or four abreast and that sort of thing and maybe not go to the bathroom where they're supposed to. Um, but for the most part, the athletes are great. Um, they're good supporters of Lake Placid. They love the area. A lot of them have bought homes here. We know with the new contract, the race will be in Lake Placid through 2024, and it will allow the village to cap the number of participants of the race. Lake Placid has sports in its roots, and Lake the Ironman is a world-class event, and we're known throughout the world as a great race. Mayor Delvin hopes people will be willing to be patient because these things take time. Local officials tell me they are certain Lake Placid has the infrastructure to host events like this, even with the ongoing construction. Reporting in Lake Placid, Michael Miller, Local 22 News.